biggest challenges of being on a ketogenic diet is eating uh, low carb when there are no good choices at social events. So Keith and I decided that we were uh, going to go to a baseball game and we thought we would bring you guys along with us and show you what uh, food choices we make when there's really no good food choices to make. So that was the plan. It was a good plan. <laughs> it really was a good plan. When we were actually going to see one of my patients who had been drafted by the, the Pittsburgh Pirates and is now in their minor league organization, really excited to go see, yeah. see him play. Yeah, but, but then when we got home and uh, took a look at the footage. It was just, it was inappropriate. <laughs> go from there so uh so we were at the ballpark uh we have some footage in there a lot of your food choices that we found were fried breaded mm -hmm. sugary you know what they have funnel cake fries yeah if you're not from this part of the the yeah. world <laughs> like i grew up in nebraska i've never heard uh, of a funnel cake yeah it's basically just like donut batter that they drip into hot grease and then they cover it with powdered sugar. Mm. Yeah. Actually, it is very tasty, but oh, wow, yeah. uh, just really not good it's for It's like you. a drug. Yeah. We did want to salvage something of this video for you guys to share a value. So we came up with three things yep. that we can, uh, we, we, we want to share with you of how we go about uh, picking something to eat when there's really nothing to eat. So. Um, First thing that we did was we uh, stayed focused on carbs, not calories. Right. So, um, you know, the thing, the thing is uh, damage control probably would be the way to put it. You're going right. to have, um, if you cheat on calories instead of cheating on carbs, you're going to have less damage control. Right. Yeah. You can still stay low carb or keto, you know, mm -hmm. in my case. Yeah. Um, even with your calories going higher, your percentages kind of stay the same, mm -hmm. and that's where you want to be. Right. So. Right. So we wanted to make sure that our carbohydrates were low. So uh, and so that went to. We also wanted to um, enjoy ourselves. So as you saw from our video, we were able to uh, find Michelob Ultra right. beer, which is the the beer that uh, Keith had t <coughs> run some tests on, and you actually found that it dropped your blood glucose. It doesn't have any effect on raising my blood glucose. Yeah. Um, like a heavier or lager or something. We did we did do like a just a real unofficial test of that. And it does drop my it drops my blood blood glucose without having a a, a rise in it um, or a, a spike in it at all. So, yeah. Yeah, so we'll link we'll link to that video. Yeah. Um, and another thing, you know, we were at the the American game, you know, the all American, American pastime, pastime and and uh, peanuts in, in the shell or something that goes along with that. So we found those, um, shared a bag of them. It was 10 carbs for, for each of us right. for, for that. So uh, while, you know, I, I get on my high horse about uh, roasting and these things and they yeah. get roasted in very bad oils, but this was a once in a while thing, so. And in lieu of other healthy choices, it was the healthiest choice that mm -hmm. was there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. When so, you look at the when you look at the menu, relative, board, it's all relative. Choices. Yeah. 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 So um, think carbs over calories. Enjoy yourself, but make the smartest choices that you can. And lastly, if if there is nothing there, you know what? You can either eat before you go to the social event or um, smuggle something in yourself. Right. If you have some, if you have an opportunity to pre-plan, you can yeah. you can do that. You can eat before you go or you know, pack some um, raw almonds or or some good beef sticks or string cheese or something like that and smuggle it in. Yeah. You know, smuggle it in. Yeah. I'm sure the ballparks don't want to hear that. But, no, they you don't. Know, you don't need to be paying you six dollars. Yeah, you don't need to be saying paying six dollars for a fifty cent bag of peanuts. Yeah. But. All right. Well, hey, uh, we hope we hope that was um, helpful. You know what? Maybe you share your ideas in the comments below of what you do when you find yourself in a social situation when there are no good food choices, we can all kind of help each other here. And please, if this is the first video that you've watched of us, 
don't judge us on this one. Uh, we'll, we'll do better. Be kind. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Uh, please subscribe. We'll see you next week. Yeah, we'll see you.